These are the SUVA equations. You're familiar with the first two. The remaining three actually derive from the first two. For example, in the third one, you've eliminated V, and in the fourth one, you've eliminated T. The fifth one isn't that important, and we don't use it very often, so you don't remember that one. The SUVA equation should only be used when the object is moving at constant acceleration. For example, if it's falling, free falling, or it's just um, if the speed is increasing at a constant rate. If an object is moving at a constant speed or constant velocity, you, sh you can just use this, the simple V equals S over T equation. Uh, if the acceleration is changing, you shouldn't be using the super equation. In this question, a ball is rolling down a slope and it accelerates from rest at a rate of 1.50 meters per second squared. How long does it take for the ball to travel five meters along the slope? So it starts from rest. So that means its initial velocity is zero. You can see they haven't actually told you that, but that's where the information is. Okay, its uh, acceleration is at a rate of 1.5 meters per second squared. So I can tell that's acceleration from the units. And finally, it travels a distance of five meters. The question is asking for how long. So the question is asking for the time. So I write SUVAS just like this, and I start filling the information in. So we have five, and then u is zero, the initial velocity. The final velocity we don't know, actually, we're not even interested in that. The acceleration is 1.50, and the time is what we're looking for. So what I need to do is I need to find the equation which doesn't have v in it, because I'm not interested in v. The equation that doesn't have v in it is this one. So I'm going to write that out, s equals ut plus half a t squared. Now because u is zero and anything times zero is equal to zero, this part of the equation actually becomes zero, so I can ignore that part. So it just becomes s equals half a t squared. So I'm going to put in the permission five, which is the s, half times 1.5 times t squared. I'm going to rearrange, so I'm going to bring the off to the other side which becomes a 2 and divide by the 1.5 and that's t squared so what I can just do is now square root both sides which gives me a time of 2.6 seconds a driver wants to accelerate his car uniformly from 4 meters per second to 12 meters per second so that's the initial speed and that's the final speed now uniformly means constant so the acceleration is constant, which means that we can use the SUVA equations. He has 200 meters of track to do so. That's the distance, or the displacement in this case, and calculate the acceleration. That's what we want to find. So let's fill our information in. So what we want to do is we want to find the equation without the T in it, which is this one here. So v squared equals u squared plus 2as. Filling the information in, 12 squared equals 4 squared plus 2 times a, which we don't know, times s. And I'm going to make this easier. I'm going to rearrange 12 squared minus 4 squared first, which is equal to 2 times 200, basically, which is 400. A, and then I'm going to divide both sides by 400. This gives me A. So I get 0 0.32 meters per second squared. Don't forget the units. A jet moving at 650 meters per second decelerates at 5 meters per second squared for one minute. What is the speed of the jet after one minute? So we have the initial speed. We have here is the acceleration but that's actually deceleration so that should be minus 5 meters per second squared we have the time and then we want the final speed so if we pull the suvats in we're not interested in s so we cross that out because we don't have it and we're not interested in it u is 650 v is what we're trying to find a is minus 5 t is one minute but we need to turn that into seconds so times it by 60 to get 60 seconds the equation without the s in it is this one here. So I'm going to write that out. A equals v minus u over t. 
put the numbers in carefully making sure you put the minus there as well I'm going to bring this 60 to the other side and then I'm going to multiply both uh, add 650 to both sides Which gives me the final velocity, which is 350 meters per second.